Hello and welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boring Company and Elon Musk. We've had um, a few snippets of information today, uh, little bits of news that are relevant to this project. So I thought we could all have a look at that. So, um, quite a good website, Teslarati, has quite a lot of information in regards to uh, Elon Musk and the Boring Company. In fact, if you go to Elon Musk, they even have a segment for the Boring Company. So, very much recommend looking at this website, guys. Um, the, the information is the Boring Company secures land in a major LA corridor for upcoming Loop Station. Now, very, very interesting. So, they're saying that this is going to be the site of a micro station. Um, they don't quote how they know that information so therefore it is a bit of uh, guesswork on their behalf but possibly they are correct so the boeing company has secured a parcel of land in west los angeles for a future la loop station along its first la route as could be seen in recent sale records and filings with the office of security of state of the state of california elon musk tunneling startup under the name TBC, the Boeing Company, secured a commercial zone property located at 2352 to 2356 South Sepulveda Boulevard in April of this year. So, very, very interesting. It's a good little article. We've got some good pictures here. Um, this is the first time I've heard this. Obviously, they acquired it in April, so there has been a bit of time. Um, I also came across this. Uh, which gives a bit more information in regards to this parcel of land. Uh, most importantly, as you can see, we have the full address here. On the actual uh, map, you can see where this plot of land is in relation to the actual um, original tunnel at SpaceX campus at Hawthorne. So it's a good uh, 12 miles away so based on that you you'd say that they have pretty detailed plans for where they're going to run this uh, tunnel how they're going to link it up to the spacex campus as you can see it runs this is the route this is actually the route rather how to get here via car rather than the route of the tunnel however i'd imagine they would run it alongside route 405 so I also picked up this from Twitter. It's from uh, a gentleman called Robert, who's on the Talking Tesla podcast. He actually has some inside information. Um, so as you can see, this is some pictures of the plot. Having uh, cleared the site, there was originally um, some kind of a lumber yard here, which has been removed. Um, I believe this is three units combined. It's quite a decent size. Um, whether this is going to be an actual entry site for the TBM or a micro station, I am unsure. Going off the Tesla Varty article, you would say that it is a micro station, but it's quite a big site, as you can see from these pictures here. Um, I've actually reached out to this uh, Robert uh, to get some further information. So hopefully, he can get back to me. Uh, provide, maybe there has been some work undertaken here since um, he last looked at it. Here's a Google Maps of the actual site. As you can see, uh, there's, there's this site here. It's two, I think it's 2352, that's 2354, and that's 2356. In the previous picture, as you can see, they are combined into one site, which is quite big. You could probably fit three micro stations there if you wanted to, or even uh, sink a shaft for the actual TBM to enter. Maybe even both. We have no information. We just have basically some rumours. So, um, as you can see, this is uh, the actual uh, map of where we, I believe the tunnel is going to run. So, you've got Brentwood here. Uh, Culver City is over here somewhere. There it is, Culver City. Uh, and there's a SpaceX campus here. And you have Los Angeles or LAX here. Another piece of information 
Um, Elon Musk's Boring Company announces tunnel site tours for LA County students. So they're actually going to let people inside the tunnel. I know they're going to throw a big party at some point. Um, so I guess they're uh, opening it up to everyone prior to that. So you can get 30 students in there to have a look at the tunnel, have a look what they're doing. It seems like a very short period of time they've actually managed to build this tunnel. Obviously, they're not using the, uh, the new TBMs, which will be a hell of a lot faster than what they've got now. But it's good to see uh, progress is being made. They open it up to the community. Uh, this gives them an opportunity to sell the project to the community and actually stipulate what they're going to do there. As it says here, offering tours for students is a clever way for the Boeing company to introduce its underground transportation concept to a new generation of commuters. So, let's go over what we have found out from the Tesla RT article. So, what do we know about this plot? It's a plot of land, it's in uh, Los Angeles. It's in the uh, west of Los Angeles. It is located at 2352 to 2356 South Sepulveda Boulevard, Los Angeles. 90064. So, the actual information has come from Marcus and Millie Chap, who sold the land to the Boeing Company for $4.6 million. Just let that sink in. That is a lot of money for one site. If this is the site of a micro station, and say they put three um, uh, lift shafts there, they're, they're gonna need to acquire a lot of land. This is an insane amount of money. Obviously, if they plan to have thousands and thousands of these micro stations across LA, um, that's a big outlay. Obviously, land prices in uh, the center of LA are going to be a lot more than on the uh, in the suburbs. However, still, that's a lot of land. You, you've got to utilize that land. And the total plot size is 5,711 square foot. So it's a decent size. Um, it is ex-industrial land. It is literally 148 meters from the 405 freeway. So again... If the uh, main tunnel is running alongside the 405, then um, you will have a branch line that will go from the 405, well, the tunnel that runs under the 405, straight to this plot, and then you'll have uh, your micro stations or your lift shafts that will take the pods up to the, uh, the surface level. So it'll be quite uh, a short uh, branch tunnel that I'd imagine. Um, around 400 meters because you've got to get there and get back here's a plot as you see again it is three pot plots combined together and there is an animal medical center to the left here as you can see this is the the, the lumber yard or the firewood yard that has now been um, removed it is just a blank plot of land so here's here it is on the map Again, it's around 12 miles from the uh, SpaceX campus at Hawthorne. That gives you an understanding of how long this tunnel network is going to be. Quite a long network of tunnels. Here's a picture from a, a different angle. Obviously, you can see here. It's quite a deep plot. I'd say at least 80 foot deep, maybe longer than that. You know, there's, there's a good plot of land there. Um, here's another picture as you can see it goes quite far back um, now i picked these pictures up off uh, twitter from uh, robert's uh, twitter account you can see just the scope of the actual plot of land there's plenty of land there if you wish to uh, sink uh, quite a large shaft to put your tunnel boy machines in you'd have ample land here um, really good site for, for sinking TBMs. In terms of access for um, trucks and things like that, again, it's right off the highway. Seems like there's plenty of space on there to have uh, quite, a, quite a decent size yard. And again, you could sink a shaft here of multiple levels 
allowing you to sync uh, up to 10 um, TBMs over the course of its lifetime. So what are my thoughts on this? It's quite an exciting uh, development. It's good to see the Boeing company is acquiring land. Hopefully this is the first of many plots of land that they acquire. Um, it is a possible entry point for TBMs. Or have, however, Tesla Variety thinks it is for a micro station, although they don't, do not stipulate as to why they think that is. Um, it could be either. It could be both. Probably, probably for the micro stations, I would imagine. But we will have to see. Hopefully, the Boeing company will release some information in, re in regards to that. So it is the first of many shafts required for a tunnel to uh, Culver City slash Brentwood. So it's along that route. Um, there's still um, plenty of miles in between this plot and Culver. And Brentwood, sorry. So it'd be good if we could get some plans from the Boeing company so we could look at where uh, the route is actually going. So obviously they've paid a lot of money for this plot of land. Once they have finished um, sinking the shafts, let's say they sink the shafts for the actual um, micro stations. The actual plot of land behind that, there, there is 5,700 square feet that could maybe be sold off um, to someone else, maybe for a commercial uh, property. Um, the actual plot of land would actually rise in value after that because you've got access to um, the Boeing Company uh, tunnel network. So you could maybe even sell that for a profit. Um, or maybe you could use that land for something else. Maybe it could be used for a supercharger uh, urban station. So again, you know, there are plenty of opportunities for that land, both by the Boeing company and Tesla. In my personal opinion, they should uh, sell that land once they have uh, used it and, and try and reap some profits from that. So it... It is going to be hard to find suitable land at the right price in LA. They're going to have to acquire uh, thousands of parcels of land similar to this if they want to make this a really expansive uh, network. Um, hopefully, they don't have to acquire much land for four million because that is an insane amount of money. They could easily be spending close to you know, three quarters of a billion uh, dollars trying to acquire land within LA. Hopefully it takes place over time so they can spread out that cost. Um, it is going to upset some people when they find out there's going to be a, quite a big shaft uh, sunk into the ground here, especially if there are multiple shafts. In the end, you are going to upset NIMBYs. They will probably kick off about it, but what can you do, eh? just got to get on with things you've just got to prove that this is going to be 100 safe and it will be elon musk wants this to be a very safe system there will be no subsidence there will be no tunnel collapses this is an exciting development um, the plot is 11.9 miles from the spacex campus if they do connect that up to the spacex campus you know that's a quite a large network of tunnels um and it's good for people who live in that area who can use the tunnel. Hopefully they, they, they sort of uh, maybe do a trial run to begin with. That's my burglar alarm, guys. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll be seeing you back again and I'll get some more news videos out. Thank you very much. And remember, don't be boring.